Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com and this video we're going to have a very quick look at the new Windows 10 build for phones. This is build 10080 and uh, available on Windows Phone for uh, most Lumia devices. That's one of the things with this uh, this change since the last release. It, this supports um, nearly all Lumia phones, I think it probably is all of them, including the 930 uh, Icon 640 and 640XL which weren't available in the previous release. So we're going to do this video, a quick look at what's changed in here. So there's some new apps, there's a new store and uh, there's some a couple of new services. So let's have a look at the new apps. First of all we've got the new store on here and this is the same as the one in Windows 10, the desktop version. So there it is on Windows 10. You can see it's just a rescaled version of it. I can put it side by side like that. So it's a universal app. So what's new in this? Well, first of all, it's now it's a combined place. It's not just got apps and games in it. It's got apps, games, music, film and TV. The music isn't live on this one, but the film and TV section is. So you can view TV shows, movie, TV series, movies, and purchase them directly here in the Windows Store. So they're moving the purchasing into the single Windows Store app, and the same will be with the music uh, as well. That will be introduced in a single store in here. And uh, I've just purchased something, so we'll, we'll have a look at how that works uh, when we try the video app in the moment. Other changes include a new, uh, the new Universal Office apps. Here they are. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and um, Outlook Mail, which was available in the previous build. So here's a, a Word document that I was working on on my Surface, and I can view that exactly. And that's exactly as I was writing it on the in the normal version of Office. I can reclick. Uh, it's read only because I've got it open on my Surface. Let's get a copy. So, full version of Office in there. I can zoom in, zoom out. I would imagine I can, I can do all the things you expect to do. And easily highlight words, which works really nicely actually. It's probably hard to see on this video, but uh, it's very good for doing sort of edits and corrections. And you can run the spell checker. And we've even got the grammar checker in there. And we've got the swipe keyboard and use voice as well. So I won't go too much into this now, but this is a full featured version of Word. It's the mobile version, the one that will be available for tablets as well, and in the Windows Store. And it's just like the, the, the it's just exactly the same as the version here on my Windows 10 tablet. So here we are with Excel, and uh, just as with the Office, uh, with, with Word, full feature editor, exactly what you would expect in a full version of. Word but optimized, or full version of Excel but optimized for touch. You see, you've got all the functions in there as you would expect VLOOKUPS, IFS, all the kind of thing, uh, full uh, rich version of Excel. Same goes for PowerPoint, but what I want to look at now is the uh, new music and video apps. So that's the Office apps. Let's have a quick look at the media apps. We've got new music and new video apps. This is the video preview app. And as with all the apps, now you'll see with the menu button in the top left hand corner. The hamburger menu is it sometimes called. And I was in the middle of watching a video there, so let's come out of there. Right, okay, so this is the app. It will play MKV files, which we haven't got on here, but it will do. And here's a TV show I purchased through the Windows Store, as you just saw before, uh, how the store works. Well, here's one I've purchased, and I can watch that on here, and it knows exactly where I'm up to on that. And the idea is you can go to another Windows device and continue watching that, so it knows where you're up to in the video, which I think is pretty clever. And uh, it's good for that sort of experience of passing between devices. Something else I noticed it's got, as well as all the full screen and zoom and everything else, is you can got use a Media Connect and you can send that to a DLNA enabled device. Uh, I couldn't get this to work with my Windows phone, I, I think I just probably need to get the right apps running on here for it to be able to receive that. Well that's interesting to see that that's baked into the video app and it's good to see. Let's have a look at the new music app. Now I couldn't 
uh, currently may, maybe because it's indexing but I can't get any of my songs to play so uh, I'll try perhaps reinstalling the app or uh, running the setup again but you get the hamburger menu and you've got these different views here just as you have on the video the version that's on the uh, the Windows 10 the main Windows 10 app and uh, this is that new look universal app so it, essentially it's the same app just a shorter shorter view but you can view your albums and everything else I, all my albums are showing up but uh, for some reason they weren't playing I couldn't find any deal in a app features or anything like that so there's no play to or anything like that in this that I can see at the moment so I'm not really got it working but uh, we'll give that a try and I have got a music pass as well, so you should play my music pass stuff, but nothing's playing at the moment. I'll try and fix that. You should get live towel, what's currently playing, you can pin favourites, the start screen and everything else. So uh, I'll have to keep working on that one. Some of the things there, there's a new camera app, but I uh, also seem to struggle to get that working. But even if you do, um, it doesn't support some of the features on the high-end phones, um, so be careful with that. 15, 20, 10, 20, 9, 38. 34, uh, 940 and 940XL don't support it, but I will try and get that working on here before I do the end of this video. So I tried to get the new camera downloaded, but uh, it goes on pending and then fails, so I'm not quite sure why that's currently not working. Uh, I think the email has been fixed, some other fixes in there, uh, but there are quite a few issues in this build. Uh, many of the apps I had which were stored on the SD card wouldn't work and I had to reinstall them. In fact, I, in the end it was getting very sluggish and I just did a wipe and, and reinstall and things worked a lot better as well. And uh, there's quite a few caveats as what the, to you, you do when uh, when testing a build like this. There's a, I'll include a link with the video post so you can uh, uh, post back to my... Uh, I'll include a link back to the original post from Microsoft on my post so that uh, you can see what the issues are. So that's a main look at the cosmetic changes and some of the new apps in this uh, 1080 build and it's looking better, there's still a lot to do from, from Microsoft, the pieces started to come together, the phone is definitely not as far as advanced as the desktop is and uh, that's reflected by the fact that Microsoft will be releasing the PC, desktop, tablet version of it first and the mobile version afterwards. So anyway, keep looking at our YouTube channel for more looks at Windows 10 as they come out. Thanks for watching this one.